Again, it's Priscilla Vatzel in Springville, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. Welcome to a nice day in February in Florida. I recommend these, especially with a little breeze and the bugs don't land in your painting like they did all day yesterday. So that's my iPod case. Might have a little pollen on it. Everything does right now. I thought I would make myself up a pan of colors because I can, which is also, by the way, the name of my book that's just being published in a physical copy on Amazon on my link below the video. I think glasses, which are on my head, would help me out and that way I would be able to use the exact white I want instead of whatever I put my hand on. So I don't know what I'm going to do with a pan of colors, but I do know I want one spare with enough mass in the colors I put in there so that if I want to dip my basting brush in there, I can do that. And that's my plan, pretty much. No plan, but that plan. They don't have to be normal colors. They don't have to go together colors. They just have to be available for the basing brush. It'd probably be okay if they went together, but um, there's no guarantee they will. I did pull out some, whoops, tipped over my tip container. I did pull out some turquoise. I do want some black in there. I kind of like a little more white too. But I probably don't need as much white as I'm thinking. I haven't used any of my favorite purple. I want some red. I can always add purple to stuff. Do I want red orange? I kind of do. I love making pans of color. What can I say? It's just um, it's just like making a little tiny painting. And even when I say I'm not going to try and make colors go together nicely, I still manage to. i got to remember to fill these less, because every time I put them on my unlevel surface, guess what happens? Oh well, never mind. So, I actually have something I can prop that up on a little bit, and it might help me not spill. In the meantime, that has very little to do with what we're going to do with this, unless I pull out my shovel, which I may. And in the meantime, my plan is to give myself permission to spread whatever I want, wherever I want, on my canvas. I hope that my regular instinct for creating beautiful art continues my good luck. Just by using colors that I like, and using my new theory about starting from the middle and moving over and using the, uh, the paint that's on my spatula. So we'll see how that works in a minute. And that's just white paint. Do I just want white paint? Do I want pearl? I kind of want some white paint mostly because I think it will help everything else sell. And it will cover better than the pearl. The pearl is just a white metallic. If I go too much further, I'm going to have more paint than I know what to do with. I have some paint. Yes, I do. I like that. If they go together nicely, then I don't have to worry about making mud. But I'm tempted, always tempted, to mix things <laughs> that I probably shouldn't. I want some more of this deco art laden Prussian blue. I didn't put any yellow in there because I'm always afraid of making green. I have my pan of colors. No matter what I do, I can use that. These are my OXO omelet turning spatulas. This is the larger of the two. They are also available where my book is available on the Amazon link below the video. I am going to try and move some of my paints back so I can swivel this around. And I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to start from one side. I want something to catch that though. Here, I'll just use a little foam heart from the dollar store in case I have some, some paint come over the edge. I'd like to use the paint on the edge to cover the edge this time. So I'm going to try and leave a layer over there that will fall down. I'm going to go back. And I'm not going to worry about it along the way because this is very likely, potentially, going to be the background of something. But if I like it, all bets are off and I will keep it. don't want any canvas showing. I don't mind if I have anomalous marks halfway across from the spatula. My 
My goal is to not have any canvas showing at the edges. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the flat of my spatula and just tap the paint that I've already got on there, right over there. I'm going to use the paint that I've got on my spatula on the end of the canvas too that you probably cannot see right now. I'll be right back, by the way. I'm going to throw some orange down there because I think I would like the orange down there, even though you can't see me. And I, like I said, I'm sorry about that. You know what? I also like the pink down there. And I didn't really have as much paint as I expected on the very bottom of my canvas. And you'll see that in a second when I turn it around. I'm going to stick my finger right in the naked spots and figure that I'll probably... Whoop, that wasn't a naked spot. I'm probably going to pull across. Yeah, I'll just use the clean side. And drop whatever's on the edge, on the blade of my spatula, right along the edge. And where I see paint that hasn't covered and paint that's thick above it, I'm going to use that too. Yeah, I think maybe I'm going to just make a simple series of colors I like. And I want some more of this red-orange. And I want it to go the other way. Now that's a pretty colored swipe. No big shakes. We have some nice cells happening. I am probably going to use the torch on that right after I run my spatula along the edge of my canvas and allow any coverage that I can get away with to become coverage on the edges. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. I could do all kinds of stuff with this, and I'm, I'm definitely thinking that at some future point I may want to do that. I can drag spatulas through. I can probably tip, because that looks like it's heavy. Oh, look, there is a piece of naked canvas. So I also have... Really? Do I? I have Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. I have lots of them. There's always a shape that I want. Those are on the Amazon link. I'm going to use this little... this little rectangular one. And I'm going to add myself some texture in the colors by picking up and putting down. Because I always wanted to. And now's the time. Oh, and I found another spot that had a little piece of naked canvas. But I like the, um, I like the effect. It's pretty simple. Maybe it'll be like the last time and somebody will tell me their two-year-old can do it. Yeah, maybe, if they have a steady hand. <laughs> Good luck with that. Maybe she'll grow up to be a fabulous artist, like someone you know wants to be. All right, so this is just way too much fun, and um, I'm happy I did it. I'm just going to keep picking up and putting down from the paint that I have on my canvas. And that kind of exposes some more paint, too, which is neat. And I'm just going to turn around and do it again in a minute, because I had such a good time doing it this time. Why not? I suppose I could probably do wider and more narrow bands. I could probably try harder to make straight stripes. Although, I just like it the way it is. What can I say? I say that, and then I add another stripe. So, you know, no matter how much I like it, I'm sort of compelled. All right, it's almost that time to find out what it's going to look like once we torch. We torch to release the bubbles in the paint. We also torch to release some of the patterns in the paint. And I see that little naked spot there, right there. I did some back, what I thought of as a background piece yesterday, and I really like the, um, the fact that the pink showed up. So I'm just going to give myself permission to add some more and hope that it stays. I like that purple too. I don't mind some anomalous marks. I guess I'm, I'm okay with that. I didn't waste any paint, that's for sure. Pretty colors. I like to go in an X sometimes. That way I sort of imagine that I've covered my center section. There is no silicone in my paint. So, if you want cells, 
huge cells, you're probably going to wind up using some silicone. You're also going to wind up cleaning it off, your painting, before you can finish it. Yes, I'm using my fingers. But this is just cheerful and fun and colors I like, and I'm going to do it again, like I said, in a minute. If I need to cover something, I could probably put the paint on a lot heavier and then tip it and see what happens. Maybe that's what I'll do next. It's kind of what I want to do. So I should tell you now, while I'm torching, to release some patterns in the paint and uh, the bubbles that might form, that I have Teespring clothing below the video on the link. It shows clothing there. That's stuff that uh, I added my artwork to or my slogans to. And my paint pouring recipe is in the description below the video. You have to click show more in order to find that. I do still keep seeing little cells pop. At the very bottom of the video's description are links to my Pinterest, my Instagram, and Facebook albums, volumes one, two, and three, where the wet and dry artworks from YouTube are stashed. Um, I do sell my artwork. I would like it very much if you would help me out and give me a thumbs up because it helps place my video in a better place uh, for more people to see it on YouTube and I appreciate that help you give me very, very much. I appreciate all the people who've contributed to keep me painting and I want to let everybody know that there's still a contest running where if you are a contributor to Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for Silabat Cell, you will be included into a contest. Oh, I got paint on my spatula. Cool salvageable paint. Neat. And I'm going to use it too. Ha! I'm going to use it right over there because I can see some canvas. Um, in the last 20 seconds of this video you are going to find that there will be end screens. I'm going to put some Prussian blue on that end because I think that's going to make me happier than what's there now which is a sort of a, a mucky muddy brown that does not belong to this beautiful artwork. Um, so I was saying, there's over 450 videos, and there's over 49,000 subscribers. But uh, if you want to be a subscriber, or you want to find that playlist with 450 videos on it, you should go right ahead and check the end screen in the last 20 seconds, like I said. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, and I think I already said I, sold, I sell my artwork. All you have to do is get in contact with me on, uh, on YouTube through communications. There is, I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I mentioned there is a book called Because I Can, and that we just finally published in softcover as opposed to only having an ebook up until now. And I'm excited. I haven't got my copy yet, but I'm looking forward to it very, very much. So I tell you guys all the time how much I love you, and I'm going to tell you again, I love you guys. You, uh, you make life very, very special with your presence, and uh, it's nice to ha know you're here watching my videos and hanging out with me. And uh, your uh, comments are fun and interesting and sweet and you lift me up and you help my morale because Spring Hill is not a good place to attempt to be an artist or sell art and you make it possible for me to do both of those things right from where I am. So thank you very, very much you guys and I hope to see you in the next video and I think this is just beautiful just the way it is. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression and Start Studio Gallery going, ooh, that was kind of simple and a whole lot of fun, and I recommend it highly. Bye for now. Priscilla out.